hi guys welcome 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 to my channel so in today's video we're going to talk about lazio disco or disco lazio scholarship okay this is a fully funded scholarship in italy one of the fully funded regional scholarships in italy do take note it's a regional scholarship this unlike the you know italian government scholarship which is actually based on merit but then this regional scholarship and all like most other regional scholarships are based on the economic situation of the student so let's talk about this this is a regional scholarship for universities in the lazio region so you know in italy there are different regions in italy and each and every region and their regional scholarship so the first regional scholarship that is currently open is that of the lazio disco scholarship which features that of the lazio region universities in the lazio region okay so it's a fully funded scholarship offered to current or incoming students of universities located in the lazio region it's a fully funded scholarship given to students um, based on their economic situation okay so who can apply so students offering or coming to offer programs um, like the following programs bachelor's bachelor's degree master's degree master's degree of unicycle that is the five or six years programs phd students and then students coming to offer courses of you know specialization courses basically let's talk about universities featured in this regional scholarship so what you should take note of is the lazo region is divided into five areas okay so universities the universities are also categorized under these five areas so first the universities located in roma uno that is the first division under the scholarship so the university in roma uno is that of the sapienza university of rome okay then we have students coming to study in universities in roma due in roma due we have universities such as Torvegata ssml instituto amando cucio and then we also have uni camelos there's a whole list of universities so please do check the lazio website and also do ensure that you kind of like look through and see if your university is featured on the list but here are you know a summary of the universities that are featured so do take a look at the you know the call itself and get to find out the universities featured whether your particular university is featured or not then the third category is that of universities in roma 3 and these universities are that of the university of roma 3 we also have that of the Lane campus university instituto superiori per la conservazione ed i restauro and then you also have academia nazionale di danza and then that of Academia Arti e Nuovi Tecnologie. There are also other universities which I didn't add to the list, so you can check that out for yourself. Then we come to the fourth category, which is that of universities in Presidio Lazio Meridionale. And these universities are Lumsa, Luis, University of Casino, and other universities as well. So do check and find out if your university is included in it then we go to universities in presidio lazio center Trional. oh mama mia then we go to the fifth category which is that of universities in presidio lazio centen Trional. and these universities are that of the university of tuscia and then academia di belle arte di vitebo so let's move on to the process of making the application so you should take notes that the application is in you know different phases so the first phase is that of transmitting the online application between 10th of june to that of 22nd of july 2024 at 12 p.m italian time okay so do take note of that currently it's actually open then the next is that of the publication of the rankings so by the 29th of July, this court will publish the provisional rankings with eligible and excluded students. So you check the rankings to find out if your name is Pat or that of your student number is Pat 
and then you're going to know if you you're going to go on to the next phase or not then we move on to the second phase the second phase is between 30th of july to that of 12th i guess 2024 at 12 p.m italian time and during this phase like it's actually students that were included in the first provisional rankings that the site is open up for them to kind of like make corrections to you know the informations that they had inputted during you know the application so basically correcting and updating documents and everything that is what is done during the second phase then after this is done the portal closes and then lazo is going to release the definitive ranking so the ranking list is actually done like this as you can see post alojo you can see the definitive ranking list is going to be published as at 16th of september 2024 then that of the you know the boss the studio itself that is um the scholarship itself the definitive ranking is going to be released on that of 11th october 2024 okay then also contribution for that of international mobility the definitive ranking will be released also on the 11th of october 2024 so now let's move on to that of the easy cap for this year's application you know each and every year um, they have a cap that they release for the application so this year your easy op should not be beyond 27,726.79 euros this is the stipulated amount for this academic year then that of the situation regarding properties and assets it shouldn't be beyond 60,275.66 euros do take note if you exceed even one of this um you know request either that of your easy or that of this one you will be excluded from the rankings what is being requested is that of you presenting your easy for the year 2022 as at 31st december 2022 that is what is requested for this year's application so for independent students you only be considered as an independent student if you've been out of like you know your family residence for like you know more than two years or at least two years you can be considered an independent student that is if you're paying your own rent and then the apartment is not owned by any of your family then the next requirement is if in the last two years that at least you've been out of the house or something like that um you've been out of your family home or something like that if you have an income not less than you, you have declared income of not less than nine thousand euros annually it is if you meet these two requirements that you're going to be considered as an independent student for the um you know application that is for the scholarship if you don't meet any of these requirements then you have to combine your income with that of your family and declare all of it for this application let's move on the benefits let's move on to the benefits of the scholarship so what you should take note of you know the benefits are given depending on the easier that you are presenting so those who will be presenting like easier or easier up that is for international student which is equal or less than 13,863.40 euros those students will be getting 7,378.37 which is an increment of 15 percent i'm going to explain it to you guys um, later on this is because you should take note this table has three divisions this is for students international students this is for students you know living in like other cities and then this is for students living in the lazio region okay so this is what you should actually um take note of so aside from this amount one um like you know students are able to get one meal per day okay and which is in total 600 euros will be taken out from the total amount that should be given to the student let's move on to the next category if you present an easy between 13,863.41 to that of 18,484.51 
the student is going to get 100% of the scholarship, okay? And which is that of 6,415.97 euros. And then the student is also going to get one meal per day. Then the third category is that of students who will be presenting an EZ or an EZ UP equal or more than 18,000. 484.52 euros. Those students, the amount will be gradually reduced and is it will be reduced to the minimum of 3,207.99 euros. And then those students are also going to be going to get one meal a day. Aside from the fans, do take note that students are also able to win, you know, accommodation. They are also able to win you know, a semester abroad that is during their second and during their second year. Let's look at the documents required. So what you should take note of is students that will be applying for this scholarship. If you're an international student, I'm only focusing on this. If you're a student that you are not a resident in Italy, you're considered an international student. And then you are required to actually present a document of your nuclear family. Okay, so a summary of your nuclear family, their surname, their first name, how they are related to you and everything. It should be, you're supposed, that document is supposed to be provided. And then the next requirement is you presenting the, you know, the income of the family, the gross income of the family. Each and every individual that you've stated in the nuclear family document, you should be able to state their income, okay? As are the year stated, their gross income as are the year stated, which is 2022. So that of 31st of December 2022. Okay. Then the other document also required is that of if you guys own properties, assets, as at the year 31st of December 2022. Any member that you've declared in your nu nuclear family document, any of them that have assets or they have properties, you need to be able to declare it in the document in an instance where you guys do not own properties and then you are living in an apartment you have to be able to show the house contract of that apartment as at the year 31st of december 2022 please do take note it is clearly stated out in the last document that you cannot no other document of declaration will be accepted okay you cannot use an affidavit you cannot use any form of declaration this document needs to be coming from the right authorities in your home country. When you are declaring that of the income of your family, that is your income, your family income document, please, after declaring the funds that you guys made as at the year 2022, after you declare it in your home currency, okay, your country's currency, you are supposed to use, you are supposed to go to this link and check the year 2022 use that of the um, conversion there to be able to convert it. Don't use that of the market conversion. Lazio has its own conversion that you're supposed to use to be able to convert that of the funds that you guys had as of the year 2022, be able to convert it to euros, okay, the equivalents. Now let us look at particular cases, okay. So just like I mentioned, students, that will be presenting an easier, you know, less or equal than 13,863.40 euros. There's going to be 15% increment in the funds given to those students, that of the award, okay? So they're going to win 115% of the scholarship. Then, female students offering programs in STEM, that of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics are going to get 20% increment in the benefits awarded to them. So they'll be getting 120% of the funds, okay? Then also, independent students, if you are able to meet all the requirements and then you are being considered an independent student, you are also going to be given the funds given to that of students considered as 40 said international students, basically. Then the next particular case is that of students, you know, enrolling in dual programs, okay? So for this student, they are going to get 
20% more of the amount, just like those offering STEM programs, okay? Let's move on to students from particularly poor countries. That is students coming from Afghanistan, Angola, Haiti, Senegal, Sierra Leone, Syria, Somalia, Southern Sudan, Sudan, Togo, Uganda, Zambia, Niger, Rwanda, Gambia, Ethiopia, Guinea, Congo Democratic Republic, Mali, Malawi, Lesotho, Liberia, Benin, Burkina Faso, Burundi, and all the others, Guinea-Bissau, Sao Tome and Principe, and all the others. Those students coming from this particularly poor countries, for them, they don't have to compile the documents as required from um, other, for them, they don't have to compile the document as required from other students. They are supposed to go to the embassy and then the embassy is going to issue out a document to them. But then they are supposed to contact the embassy first and then the embassy will ask document, particular documents from them which they are going to give to the embassy and then the embassy will compile the document for them. Document that the embassy is going to compile for them. This is how the document looks like. It can be found on the Lazio website. Okay, so let me show it to you guys. So this is how the document looks like. This is the document that the embassy is supposed to compile for the student. So after taking all the documents that the embassy is going to require of you, this is the form that the embassy is going to fill. So they're going to include your details and everything. And as of the year 2022, everything that is required is going to be filled. And then the person is going to sign, you know, the person is going to sign. And then that document will be given to you, which you're going to use in the application for the Lazio scholarship. So you can see up here, it's written that the document, um, you know, can be legalized by the prefettura okay it can also be legalized by the prefettura so please do take note of it last year reserve the right to kind of like cross check and find out if the declarations made here are actually like very true so this is the document you can later check it out on the last year website so let's continue let's talk about deadlines okay so from that of 10th of June to that of 22nd of July 2024, students are required to, you know, make the application. And then from 30th of July to that of 12th of August, the site is open for students to make, to enter into the second phase of the application. That is making corrections and modifications. Then by 12th of August 2024, the second phase will be terminated, okay? Then as at 2nd July 2024, that is the last date that students resident in Italy are supposed to request for the EASE, which they are going to use in the application for the scholarship. Then as at 10th of December 2024, students, that is international students or students resident outside Italy, that is the last date that they are supposed to request for EASE UP. From the required CAF in the Lazio region. So look for the affiliated CAF office, okay, of your university, and then request for the EZUP by 10th of December 2024. The CAF is going to need all of the documents that I've mentioned of that of the composition of your family, that of the declaration of income of your family, that of um, documents, that of the declaration of properties, assets on by each and every family member and then also the other document that are required then as at that same 10th of december 2024 Lazo should be able to assess from aims that of the details regarding your easy op okay then as at 29th of november 2024 that is the last date by which you should have you know if you want to live in an apartment you know outside the that of the Lazio residences, you should be able to have like a contract. So by then you should be, you should, you should have a contract. And then as a 27th of December, 2024, that is the last date that they are supposed to insert in the system that of details regarding your contracts. Okay. 
your house contract. So as at 10th of December 2024, any if the if any of your details should have been flagged, students are supposed to ensure that they've made all the needed corrections. Every document, maybe a particular document that didn't go through, unless you have flagged it, you are supposed to make needed corrections. The authorities that you need to reach out for to ensure that those corrections are made, you need to ensure that you do that. And then also by this same date, you are supposed to upload onto the portal residence permit. And then by that of 10th of February 2025, students should have been matriculated in the universities, the various universities located in the Lazio region under which you apply for the scholarship. Then as at that 10th of February as well, um, students that may have entered into Italy late or something like that, they should also be able to finally upload their residence permit, even if it's that of the receipts. So basically, that is it for the Lazio scholarship. I'm wishing you guys the best. Those who are coming to universities in the Lazio region, I'm wishing you guys the best. Obviously, a video guide on how to apply for the scholarship is going to be out soon on the channel. So that is it for this video. If you found value in this video, please don't forget to like, share it, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.